This week we reveal another fast Ford, drive the new Mercedes E-Class and score a date with Barbie. The Ford Fiesta was voted our best runabout in 2008 and it's about to get even better thanks to this Ford Fiesta mount tune. Mount tune may sound a bit aftermarket, but this performance pack has been given the wink from Ford's performance wing. The £1,300 upgrade applies to the ZTEC S and takes power up to 140 brake while cutting the 60 mile an hour sprint time by a massive 2 seconds. The best news is that you'll be able to order it from any Ford dealership so it won't create any dodgy warranty issues. Here's yet another Lamborghini model number to remember. This is the new Murcielago LP654 Roadster. It features a 10 horsepower increase, helping it hit 60 in just 3.4 seconds. And it can carry on to a two-pay wrenching 205 miles an hour. Now we're guessing that most of the run of 50 cars are gonna end up in the hands of the sort of men whose girlfriends are as orange as its stickers. Barbie turns 50 this year and to celebrate, she's been given a new Fiat 500 in pink. Just about everything you see, touch or sit on has been finished in Barbie's favourite hue, including this interesting gear stick. We've heard rumours that Kenny's not impressed, but sadly, he was unavailable for comment. We've been hearing strong rumours that an estate version of Jaguar's brilliant XF is going to be shown at September's Frankfurt Motor Show. It'll be only the second Jag estate after the dismal X-Type. If the rumours are true, we can't wait for a triple test between the XF R estate, BMW M5 Touring and the Audi RS6 Avant. Bring it on. If you've always fancied hitting the British festival circuit, but found the reality of flooded tents, dirty toilets, and heaves of teenagers monged off their face not that appealing, then Minnie and Fritz Hansen are on hand to stop you morphing into a grumpy old fart with this Airstream camper. To be honest, that shocking exchange rate means that camping in Blighty is as good as a holiday's gonna get for us this year, so this modern take on the classic American camper could be the perfect opportunity to let it all droop out. Thing is, this Airstream was only intended as a one-off for a design chair in Milan, so I think we better pack a tent too, just in case. Mercedes has now sold 12 million E-Classes, not all of them are taxis. We've been driving the latest incarnation, and while its looks take a bit of getting used to, inside all is calm serenity. This isn't supposed to be a sports saloon, it's a hugely refined, hugely capable mile muncher for the exec who needs to escape the madness. It's so quiet that they've even installed a gadget to stop you falling asleep at the wheel. This is a proper old school Merc, and we like it. We love the Jaguar XF, it's our favourite executive saloon, and it's just been made even better thanks to this new 3 litre twin turbo diesel S version that we've just driven. It's 1.8 seconds faster to 6 in the old 2.7 diesel, yet CO2 emissions are better, it'll even do 42 miles to the gallon, so it's refined, fast and brilliant to drive, but the best news is that it's over 2.5 grand less than the BMW 535D, the best has just got better. It was a good week for flying car fans as having your own Jetsons lifestyle is about to become a $194,000 reality. The Terrafugia Transition made its first maiden voyage without crashing and burning this week. That's problem A sorted. The next phase is trying to make it look a bit more like a car. It's been another bad week for Lewis Hamilton. In F1 testing, the boy wonder's been toiling at the bottom of the timesheets. So have McLaren cocked it up? Maybe. It was also a bad week for UK car fans as organisers have been forced to act the 2010 British Motor Show. Gutted. Don't miss our twin test of the new Toyota IQ versus the 50-year-old Mini. 